Hello everyone, welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Sim news video. If you want to stay up to date with the most important Microsoft Flight Sim news, keeping you up to date on both PC and Xbox, be sure to hit that red subscribe button. But now, a message from today's sponsor. Microsoft Flight Sim can be daunting, but FS Academy has you covered with their in-depth mission packs for Microsoft Flight Sim. Their most recent one, the Navigator series, features 11 instructed flights, followed by a skills test in the beautiful Scottish Highlands. Gain valuable flight simulation skills and have a complete blast. If you want to improve your flying skills, you can get 30% off all FS Academy packs via the in-game marketplace between the 5th and 12th of August right now. Check out the website below, have fun aviators. Okay, so I've got a bit of Microsoft Flight Sim news for you today, but I haven't got too much, so I'm going to drag it out, so I'm going to get you up to date as soon as possible. A few of these stories have been out for a while, but I just missed them, so I thought I'd bring you up to date anyway. But let me inform you on the newest story of this video. So this is from Simworks Studio. They've been working on the de Havilland Dash 7. Of course, quite a rare aircraft that has four engines. You might confuse it with the Dash 8. When I first heard about it, I did. But yes, Simworks Studios have been working on this very, very versatile aircraft alongside Pilots, which is a German development team. Now, as you can see, still relatively early days for this aircraft, just from looking at the modelling, but what we get is pretty impressive. It looks quite good in the Air Greenland delivery. Now, Simworks Studio is now fully focused on this project. They don't confirm whether or not they've diverted all their resources here, but progress is coming along nicely compared to last time we saw an update from the team. As you can see, lighting's looking pretty good, but in my opinion, the fuselage does look a bit matte, a spit sort of cartoonish, so I hope they do work on this. But saying that, all in all detailing, when you get up close to the likes of the propellers and the gears, does look quite good. We don't necessarily get a full-blown cockpit shot, we do get a sort of cheeky look inside. You can see we have got some texturing going on and I don't know how much they have done but from what I see it looks acceptable but certainly still some work to go. This is a very versatile aircraft as I said and when it does come, which I do believe it's coming to both PC and Xbox. Simwork Studio have released stuff on Xbox before so hopefully it will come over. I know their RV14 recently went over to Xbox Marketplace but I don't know if it's there yet. But you will find this aircraft is very, very good at short takeoff and landing performance. All in all, it's a very nice update and some really pretty screenshots. To speak about systems, they say on a coding front, the cockpit is being gradually activated. Their engine, hydraulic, oil gauges, etc. work, with COM, NAV and ADF radios also being active, alongside basic flight instruments also being functional. That to me is a very important to hear because you do find, even with the best development teams, they start a project and get the external model done and then as soon as they get in the cockpit it turns out they can't find the right document documentation and the project fails, but clearly that's not the case here, which is very good. A great update from Simworks Studios and Pilots, all very exciting stuff, it's an aircraft I will be taking a look at. Now let me keep you up to date on some news that I failed to bring you, some of it almost a month old. We're going to start off with Digital Flight Dynamics, because it's a dev team we haven't heard too much about from for a while now. Their project certainly is still alive, this is a freeware A350. They gave us a few teasers to celebrate reaching 10,000 members on their Discord. I don't know whether it sort of scares me a bit because this project has been going around for a while and to me it seems like they've been a bit stuck or whether it should inspire confidence because the cockpit is looking good. I think I'm focusing on the external model too much which clearly needs a bit of work just looking around the windows and on the gear. But looking in the cockpit, you can see modelling has basically been completed at this point. Clearly, a lot of work still needed in texturing. But it's a bit of a mixed bag, I think, anyway. You can find their Discord link down below. I last brought you up to date on the 1st of July, or around that time, when they released Episode 2 of their Discover A350 series. Sadly, this one won't be coming to Xbox, PC only. But it will be freeware, which is something to get excited for, but I do think this project is a long way off. That's my personal opinion. Anyway, as always, I could be wrong, but I think I'm right on this one. 
Now moving over to a project I haven't talked about for a long time, the Synaptic A220 team. Now this dev team I have a lot of faith in because they're working with the Flobo Wire team, so I think the experience speaks a lot there. And when I say working, they're integrated in the Flobo Wire installer. Hopefully that will last. Anyway, they brought us a pretty cool update on that A220. I'm showing you an old photo, uh, an old screenshot I should say from the Synaptic team on the screen now. This isn't the most recent one but it shows it off in its best glory, I think. Now this is an update from late July, so we're a bit out of date here, but we haven't had any updates since, and it's showing us some systems in play. As you can see, it's pretty basic, it's a map, but it's a map that's integrated into the A220's sort of quasi-mixed uh, primary flight display, navigation display. I'm not up to date with A220 systems, but kind of like the A350, all the screens are sort of in one, it's very weird, it's very Airbus to say the least. Now they have been focusing on other things, uh, which probably explains why it took a year to update it from their last form, but yes, some good progress nonetheless. Hopefully we get a bit more of a substantial update soon. Now finally, from India Fox Techo, they're in the process of moving their F35 over to Xbox. Depending on when you're watching this video, it might already be on there. Now, there was a bit of a delay, that delay is still occurring right now, I do believe, and that was because of an issue with the build they sent over to Xbox Marketplace. This is now being resolved, so on the 2nd of August, they said it would take 5 to 10 working days for Microsoft to test it. So that means, at the very latest, hopefully you'll see the F35 on August 12th. It might even be on there now, but as always, Microsoft Flow Sim can be pretty unpredictable. But hey, it's nice to see such an awesome fighter jet move over to Xbox. I'm sure it'd be a good fun aircraft to fly with a controller. For me today, that is all I've kept you up to date, so thank you very much for coming along. Developers do read the comments down below a lot, so give them some motivational boosts. For me today, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my Amazon affiliate links for all the stuff I use to fly, film, and edit. Thanks again to FS Academy for sponsoring my video. Do go check out their 30% sale on the marketplace now. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.